Hello guys, today I am going to show you on how to cast the door inside Illumina 3D. So let's get started. First of all, I am going to create a new composition and I rename it to main composition. So click OK and I go to layer new and click on solid. Rename it to element 3D and I click OK. After that I go to effect video copilot and element. Here we are going to learn about how to create and how to cast it all inside element 3D. So it is the basic one. I go to Team Setup, create any object, and to cast a shadow, I have to have a plan. I, ca I have created a, a plan. So, in order to make it big, I change it to 50 by 50. Click on my square model and take it up a bit onto the plan so here we are here we have created two object one the square model and the other is plan model and this plan model is going to accept the shadow so click OK inside our composition I am going to create a new background a 2d background I am going to layer new solid and I choose a bit gray background and click OK. Put it under element 3D. So we are going to create a new camera. I choose 50 millimeter. Click OK. And I am going to see the plan model as well. So this is it, and I am going to create a light to get a shadow. So I I go to new light. What is point? Please notice that the light that we are going to use is parallel light or spotlight. So I'm here going to choose parallel light, and I tick on cast shadow. The color is whatever you like. The entity I choose one hundred percent. Click OK. I go, I go to the top view and see what I can do with the light. Back to the main camera. I go to the left. This is how I set up. This is we are going to set up the, the right light position so that we can see the right set door. Okay. So we are here. I go back into Elements 3D, render settings, and set door on in the ball so here we have a small shadow behind our sphere model when I move the light the shadow will change according it will change to our light here apologize I'm going to top you and change the camera so the light change go back to our camera when we move the light our shadow move with our shadow with our light too so I can customize the shadow I go to elements 3D I can punch up the blur radius for you so the our shadow has been blurred up. I can play with the light with the light options and shadow darkness. For better result, we have to go to Elements 3D and we can turn on our ambient occlusion. So we have shadow a small shadow under our square too. I can move with the entity. 
maybe the radius let me change the view to see the better result as we move the camera the shadow is moving with our light so here we are created a case shadow we have a case shadow from our model in Elman's 